peace family so it's another garden tour happy april happy spring i hope you guys are happy and healthy taking good care of yourselves showing yourselves that self-love please and thank you so we're starting in the front today i'm only gonna do that if something looks different and i think we've had some developments well this big old baby used to be in the back she is happy and healthy there look at this kale you guys so I moved this aloe vera and you know we recycle, um, you know, we add some amendments, but we recycle soil. So this kale came up and the spinach came up, but that spinach didn't make it. Look how beautiful and happy and healthy this kale is. They look happy together. So I am not going to fight them on that. I just moved this one. It was not looking too good at first. She had babies on her and I think her roots were a little soggy, but she looks happy. Now that she's been moved to the front and neglected. <laughs> I think um, aloe vera is like to be neglected a little bit, to be honest. So, I'm going to start doing some little episodes like, girl, what happened to the blah, blah, blah. For instance, last time we did a, a tour i had squash i do not have squash this time. <laughs> the squash has died and i think it a little too much happened i think it was a combination of things and i'd like to just do like a little separate video to tell you and to show you what they used to look like get a couple clips maybe and tell you what i think happened to the squash so now we're on the balcony or patio and let's do this tour turn around okay so it's a little messy excuse me i didn't want to just clean up i want to show y'all the real i'm about to clean up and do some things but you guys remember there was kale there some of those kale are down the hill we moved them um down the hill there's a place where we see homeless people camp at or near so we're hoping to leave a little bit of our garden for them so here's the big planter with the avocados. It's getting some new growth, new life. Both of these are at the top. They're looking so good. I got sweet potatoes that have been really stretching it out and spreading over. This is one of the kale from the corner. And these are sweet potatoes too. They have not really been spreading out even though they look healthy. So I just put more dirt. I kind of mounted more dirt on a part of the stem that was low. And I'm hoping that it sprouts some more. Down here we got one little lonely beet. Still in the fish tank. We'll see if he grows. I keep, I'm still watering him. That's empty. There was a pepper in there. I'm letting go of these eggplants y'all. I think their growth was stunning. They just been through too much. That's how I feel. Unless tell me do eggplants grow like snails because they've been tiny. This is an avocado that just needs to be prayed about. And him too. So we praying on them. We cut we keep cutting the brown off and praying. <laughs> this is a baby pineapple guava. I took a seed out of a fruit. I took a couple, but this is the only one still here. This lettuce got too much sun. I just moved it in this planter with a pepper, which I shouldn't have because they're different. This one is an overwintered pepper from last year. The lettuce was doing fine, but it needed more space for the roots. And I put it in this planter and I had it turned this way where it got a lot more sun. So hopefully he can recover. He's in the shade now. Um, I'm not too impressed with lettuce right now anyway, though. This is where the, the squash was. Now it's purple sprouting broccoli. <laughs> so the squash died and I was like, mm, I really built the mess out of that little uh, raised garden bed. You know, so something gonna have to get in there. So he looks great and he is looking better since he's gotten in there. These are volunteer beans that keep popping out in my compost. So if they want to grow, I just give them a space to grow. These are baby aloe veras. 
Okay, so look at Diva. She's looking beautiful and bushy, mostly at the top. She's making all these different color flowers and stuff. But, oh, she's looking rough at the bottom. I think she just needs a new pot. And I am working on it, Diva. And she needs more space to climb. So, she doesn't have powdery mildew. Amen. And I think she's still mostly happy and healthy on her throne. <laughs> This is Maya, the Meyer Lemon. My daughter named her, and she looks like she wants to make some lemons. I think she's probably too small to make as many as she's trying to make. So I'm thinking maybe I should thin her out soon. You guys let me know if you know. Because she's still kind of small, but she looks happy and healthy. And here was a purple bean it died so i pulled it out and i um i put a volunteer bean here and then i also put some uh bell pepper seeds in there so hopefully they'll sprout right on in there and i'm only gonna leave one whichever one looks the best and the healthiest this is one of the kale moved from that corner over there you guys look at the strawberries why are they looking like that he is dead dead he is dying and he is too i think i don't want to speak that over him like i see some hope a little bit but dang what's going on i think they were getting too much sun that's why i moved them down in the last um tour they were up i think the spring sun the longer days and the hotter days they were not ready for that type of um sun okay that's what I think. He still looks pretty good, but these leaves look how those looked before. So, give me some tips, y'all, before they all die. <laughs> this is Scarlet Kale, which I love. I'm trying to save him. His brother then passed away. I think maybe too much sun, possibly overwatering. I think the kale like a little bit of shade, though. Here's another kale. That one was moved from the corner. There is ginger in here. We didn't give it that much space, but we're definitely going to do more when we get on our property. This is longevity spinach. I have two of them. This one was getting aphids just right up on this little um, spot up here, like the new growth. But I sprayed them off and I sprayed neem oil on it and it seems fine it was just a few days it never got out of hand though this is a mint that's and catchy's little flower looking succulent here's a spinach okay spinach i apologize y'all remember i was talking all that mess about spinach from seed don't want to grow he shall not be moved this one has been moved he looks happy and healthy i moved this planter over here to get a little more shade those two are um kale that were in the fish tank okay we've got carrots kind of i don't know if they're getting any bigger but if you can see that is a carrot i just don't know if they're growing but they're coming out when we move regardless this broccoli looks good i'm definitely gonna need a lot more broccoli plants um at when we get our house because my kids won't even let this broccoli grow, y'all. So most of this broccoli is going to seed now. Look how tall it gets when it's going to seed. This one I have been letting go to seed. But we were still kind of munching off of these other ones. But he wants to go to seed. He wants to go to seed. He want to go to seed back there. He's the only last of the Mohicans there. So these I think are going to get a little bigger. And then turn brown and I'm going to get the seeds out of there. Because we really liked that broccolini so I want to grow more. These kale look so happy and healthy. These were moved from the fish tank. And check out what a little bit of building up some soil. Giving you some uh, root space will do. They look so happy and healthy. And I think pretty um, good size compared to what size they were last garden tour. Okay, y'all, these are the carrots from seed. Look, I feel like they trying to do something. I feel like you trying to make a carrot. 
patience is a virtue amen i got some lettuce over here i'm not too impressed with lettuce right now maybe i should try to grow a different kind but it looks cute it's okay gardening is a lot of work so it's like it do i i'm gonna need to love you to be doing all this work and i don't know if i love that lettuce this mint looks beautiful it looks so nice and happy and healthy now that i've trimmed it back and i put it up here so we can smell it when we come out the door yes so that is it i think let me know if i missed anything if you guys have any tips or any questions what you would like to see from me i would love to hear from you i appreciate your interest i appreciate you connecting with me and coming into my little sacred space my little garden um yeah i wish you guys well peace and blessings